Hey guys, Fintan here from Dancing Cloud, and this week I want to talk about three new features in Google Meet that I think most of you should find pretty interesting. So those three features are, in case you are not interested in them, is the new Google Meet page that Google has updated, uh, the sort of see yourself before you join a meeting feature, which uh, a lot of people were very excited about on LinkedIn last week. Uh, and then also the new troubleshooting section, which I discovered kind of by accident and allows you to troubleshoot issues that you might be having with Google Meet. If you're interested in any, any of those, you know what to do. Stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to start with was the new Google Meet page. And we can see here that it looks different to the original one um, that people might be familiar with. Uh, the, the big key difference here is that I can enter a code or nickname for a meeting and join it straight away. I can click on a new meeting and I can create a link that I can copy uh, the details for at a later stage without actually having to create a calendar appointment, which is very, very useful. Um, and so I could just copy those details and I could send them off maybe via email or in a chat or something like that. Uh, I can also start an instant meeting. And so again, Google are trying to take stuff out of the way, get you into the meeting really quickly. Um, I often want to do that, just sort of start a meeting with, with somebody and I, and I don't want to have to mess about with creating a calendar appointment or something like that. And then I can also schedule in Google Calendar and that will open up Google Calendar for you and schedule it in there. Now, what I'm gonna do is join the team meeting and show you uh, the new uh, check your audio or check yourself, as I'm calling it, uh, section of Google Meet. So I'm, I'm joining the, the call now, but I wanna check uh, if my audio is good and my video is good. And this is something that a lot of us have to do um, because when you're joining a call, you know, the joke for 2020 was you're on mute um, or you know, you, 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 your camera's off or whatever the case may be. And we don't know what our audio sounds like to other people. There could be feedback and things like that, that. And so it's really important to check those things and Google are allowing us to do that now. So when I click on here, it gives me a little, um, a little sort of uh, uh, start screen and I can look at my microphone, I can look at my speakers, and I can look at my camera as well. So I can check, do I, do I want it to be my default microphone? I've got a, a lot of different devices connected here. So you can see I can choose from those. So I'm gonna leave it as the Mac. Um, again, if I connected headphones or something like that, so if I connected my, my headset over there, um, it would pop up and I would make sure that that was connected beforehand. I can also change my camera. So if I wanted to change it to my FaceTime camera, not quite as good quality as you can see. Um, so I think I'll stick with my uh, Camlink 4K, which is my DSLR up there. And what you can actually do is you can record yourself. So I can say, hi everybody. Uh, this is Finton doing a little recording of himself and I am testing the audio and video uh, here, and then I can play it back to myself to see what it sounds like. Uh, this is Fenton doing Amazing. a recording of himself, and I am testing <laughs> the audio. Excellent, so now I know what I'm gonna sound like and what I'm gonna look like before I actually join the call. How amazing is that? Uh, and so now I can actually join the call. There's only me in it, obviously. Um, and so that's the new check yourself feature. And then the last feature that I wanted to talk about is down in the bottom right hand corner here with the three little dots. And um, that's where you get your kind of extra options. You're gonna see things like whiteboard and recording and all these extra cool features that you may or may not have depending on um, what, what uh, version you're on. But the troubleshooting and help one I think is really, really useful. And when you click on this, it brings up this little um, network stability. And often a lot of people complain that like the system load or you know their connections dropping out. Is it me? Is it somebody else? Trying to figure out what, well, what's actually happening. I can see here um, the, the amount of data that uh, the, the Google Meet is using on my system. And so it's great for checking if there's some issue with my, my Wi-Fi or network stability. And then you've also got system load as well. Google Meet um, is getting better, but it, you know, it used to be quite, quite a drain on your CPU. So I can kind of see here, it, it's using about 
40 percent on average it spiked there a little bit at the start when i joined probably when i was doing the recording bit because it was doing more within the browser and now it's kind of dropped back down um, and then there's also some links to help and, and things like that. And then the, the last part that I wanted to talk about was the quality tool itself, which is actually for admins, a little bit of a bonus one really. Um, when you're in the actual uh, meet room at the start, you can click on this little quality dashboard. If you're an administrator, it will load this. If you're not, obviously it won't. I'm an admin on this test account. And so I can actually look at the different calls that have happened on my domain and see what is the quality of them, why have people dropped out? And again, when people are working from home, that's really important as an administrator. You're getting those kind of calls and you're trying to figure out what is the issues or challenges uh, that people are having. So that's it for me, guys. Uh, a super quick update this year, or this week even, this year, my God. <laughs> We're still early in the year. Uh, a, a, a quick update this, this week. But I think a really, really valuable one. Google are continuing to add some fantastic features to Google Meet. I know they are hot on the tails of, uh, of Zoom and really starting to, to become on par uh, with, the, with, the, with the Zoom uh, system. And I think what's interesting as well is they're doing all of it within the web browser. So still, you don't need to install anything on your desktop or laptop. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's update um, and I will see you next week.